Commissions, let's get into it because everybody's calling me asking about different commissions. Now I have a few listings coming up. I actually have three this weekend coming up and I have some more down the road. I have buyers asking me, everybody's asking commissions. I've seen the headlines, the NAR, what's going on. We can ask for reduced commissions, this and that. Absolutely. The whole point of that issue of being lawsuit and everything was there was never a conversation about commissions. I've always had conversations about commissions. I've never shied away from it. I like this new thing that's going on, I guess you could say, about commissions. Everybody's now asking and talking about it, and I've never not talked about it. Let's break it down real quick. Selling, if you're selling, yes, you can list your home for whatever commission you want. Is the 6% normal? Yes and no, depends on where you're at. Is the 5% normal? Yes, again, back and forth. Can you go lower? Absolutely. Depends on what you talk with your listing agent. Now, here's the catch, and this is where I'm gonna give you the pros and cons, at least from my opinion. Remember, this isn't anything legal or any legal advice, just my opinion. If you list your home for 5%, fine. You do two and a half, two and a half. That seems to be the norm in some places. I'm still getting six commission percent on some listings as well. And I'll tell you why. When you have a listing and you offer the listing agent, of course, the two and a half to three percent, you get what you pay for. Photos, marketing, package, everything like that. Yes, you can go get some cheap cut rate company and absolutely, will it work out? Maybe, maybe not. I always believe you get what you pay for. The product, the quality, the agent, everything like that. Yes, can you get through with it with a cheaper one? Absolutely, we can get through with cheaper everything. Cheaper house, cheaper car, you name it. I'm a big believer in what you pay for. Now, why is that a pro? Because if you offer 3% over two and a half or 2%, the agents see that. So when they're showing homes, yes, they will tend to gravitate to that 3%. Why not? You get a higher commission. You're still gonna do the same work with any home, but they tend to sell or push that for their buyers and say, yes, great location, great home, this and that. Now, ethically, it's a gray area because I don't believe that all agents do that. I do not. I sell any home that comes on the market. I will tell you straightforward, yes or no. I don't look or care about the commissions. Well, that's not true. I do like commissions. That's how I get paid. But I'm not going to not tell you to buy a home because it has a low commission. That brings in Form 41, Buyer's Brokerage Agency Agreement. Basically, now, why I love this so much is I have this agreement that says my buyer will guarantee me a percentage of the commission. I'm normally 3%, sometimes 25 depends on, yes, what they negotiate again with me. But what that says is, and there's a little box in that Form 41 that says they will ask the seller to pay that commission. Now, again, if the seller doesn't want to pay that commission and we can't negotiate and the seller won't pay the commission, the buyer is then on the hook for my commission. Now, will the buyer pay that commission? Maybe, maybe not. They may not have the cash to pay that commission, especially first-time home buyers or VAs. So now it's either up to the seller or if the seller doesn't want to pay the buyer's commission, guess what? That buyer walks away. So now you're cutting yourself by the foot if you're offering a lower commission with listings. So now we're going back to listing again. So now you offer 2% commission. Well, that buyer's brokerage agreement is either 2.5%, 3% for at least the norm for what I see. But again, yes, it's all negotiable. But if they said I get 25 or 3%, guess what? You've offered 2% listing commission. Well, now that buyer is going to come in there with the buyer's agency agreement saying, well, no, you need to give 2.5% or 3% to my agent. So again, now they're going to negotiate with you on the sale. The catch is, all right, you negotiate, you get it solid. Yeah, we'll give them the 2 dollars 3%. Great. The whole point of this, though, is when you're listing your home, you want to attract as many buyers and as many buyer agents as possible. So why would you immediately cut your foot off by offering 1%, 2%, whatever you offer, when if you put that nice little shiny tag of 3% out there, now you bring in all the high quality agents, now all the buyers, everything like that, because all those agents are bringing all those buyers to you. Faster sale rate, higher price on sale. It's been proven with statistics. So if you're gonna lower it, and yet you're still gonna get hit with that form 41 with the buyer's agency agreement that says now you need to negotiate to pay that agent or the buyers are gonna to have to pay them. And sometimes you can say, well, if it's only 2% to 2.5%, the, we're not gonna negotiate, and that buyer may just pay their agent that half percent. Yeah, you're right, they may, and you still may sell the home. The catch is you haven't brought in all those buyers to get a little bidding war, hopefully, or bigger bidding war. And so at 2%, all those agents skipped over your home. And, or hopefully they didn't, legally or ethically or whatever, you know how this world works. Do we go to the 3% or 2%? Shiny, non-shiny. I mean, come on. But the whole point of this is either way, you may have to end up negotiating. And again, if that buyer can't pay that half percent, 
they may then have to walk away if the seller is not willing to negotiate it. Now let's do an example. Let's take a half million dollar home, half percent, 250, 2,500, excuse me, $2,500. But if that $2,500 on that half percent or 1%, $5,000, can get you a lot more buyers in with a lot more agents because the agents see that 3% over the two and a half or 3% over 2% and you get all those buyers in and you're playing the market. Let's say you're pushing the market a little bit or you want to get a bidding war. Don't you think you have a better chance over $5,000 getting an extra 20 or $30,000? Yes. The answer is yes, you will. Now, is it guaranteed? Absolutely not. And that's why I love this about communication and talking and explaining all this because it needs to be explained. You get what you pay for. So yes, if you wanna save a half a percent or percent, absolutely. Will you bring everybody rushing in? Maybe, maybe not. Depends on your house, location. Are you pricing it too high? Are you pricing it right? All those are gonna take factors in. Are you still then, after you list the home, still gonna have to negotiate that commission? Absolutely, I bet you will, because I guarantee you, I'm not running around with any buyers that hasn't signed that buyer's brokerage agreement that guarantees me a percentage. I can guarantee you mine's at least two and a half, not, if not 3%. And I just have two more listings coming on the market that are both at 6% because they want that 3% shiny tag to bring the agents in with the buyers. And I've explained all this, plus my marketing as a listing agent, plus the pictures, plus everything go into that. And so you get so much more. Again, you get what you pay for. So if you want to have that conversation and you want to negotiate, absolutely. And I'll explain it everything. And we may not be the best fit. If you want that, no, I want to save that extra percent. And if $500,000 house, $5,000 is huge for you, fine. And you can go and you may be fine in other hands. Absolutely. Don't let me say you're not. Again, I believe with the knowledge, experience, and everything else, all the agents are gonna hold tight to what they have to offer. Now, yes, you will get new agents, maybe you may get some weekend Bob, special Bobs are gonna say, yeah, I'll do it that for that percentage. But when it comes to negotiating, when it comes to forms, when it comes to actually making sure your file's right, wouldn't you rather pay one extra percent or two extra percent to make sure everything's right? Because at the end of the day, that stress, that mental health, the amount of money you're gonna get back, it just period, to me, it makes sense for money, is gonna be huge for that extra percent or half percent. But again, this is why it's brought up. You're able to negotiate, you can do what's comfortable for you, and you can figure out. I will say from experience and from what I've seen over a decade plus and hundreds of deals, that the lower the commission, always more struggle to bring buyers in because agents seem to pass it up. I've always seen issues with the agents that have done those for sale by owners or discount agents, not available after 5 p.m. or weekends. Well, that's when everything's working. Now, not everybody, just in my opinion, from what I viewed. And again, sorry to say it again, but you get what you pay for. So if you have any questions or anything else, again, all this information is just from my viewpoint, call me. I will explain and go over it even more detail. But again, if you're listing it and you wanna go cheaper on the listing commission for the buyer's agent, that's fine. I'm just saying, you attract what you get, and then you're still probably gonna end up having to negotiate. If you offer a 0% commission, that Form 41 says the buyer can legally, the buyer's agent can legally not even show it if it has a check mark there that says if the buyer's not gonna pay their commission and they need the seller to negotiate and the seller offers no commission, well then they don't even have to show it. And then you're gonna hit into another thing that says, well, buyers, here's the last point. Buyers, why do we need the buyer's agent then? Let's just go straight to the listing. Well, fine, but I have on my listing that I get paid to handle both sides as a dual agent or at least get commission because now I'm doing double the paperwork. Guess what? I don't want to be a dual agent, so I'm going to represent the seller. So if the buyer comes in unrepresented, I yes, it may discount the commission a little bit for the listing agent, so great. So they get a little bit of a discount, but I'm still handling all the paperwork. So when I do that, then that buyer is unrepresented, doesn't have any legal everything. I just take care of the paperwork. Here you go. They have to figure out their own inspections, how to negotiate, everything to watch for, loopholes, lender, appraisal, all of that they have to know. Now, if you've sold two to three homes, I've had a friend in another state, she said, yeah, I know I've sold two to three homes. Got in huge trouble because she represented herself, didn't understand anything, and it was a nightmare. Not only mentally health, but financially as well. And so yes, can you buy a home on your own? Absolutely, sure. 
and hopefully that listing agent will still take care of the deal and they'll always do everything legally right, or you hope so. You hope you don't get screwed because the last thing you wanna do is try to get a lawyer and sue and this and that. No one wins but the lawyer. Sorry lawyers, but that's freaking, that's the life of it, that's true. So yes, you can represent yourself. You're gonna miss a lot. I just, from my experience, from what I've seen and from what we do on the buyer side as well, we handle everything. And the only reason I know that well, I've been doing this forever, but I had an actual buyer say, I cannot believe they wanted to know everything. Actually, I've had a few of them. They want to know every single detail. Two out of the three, finally, like three weeks in says, stop emailing, stop calling. You keep, you just do you. I, there's so much information. There's so many emails, so many contacts, everything going on. They're like, you're doing amazing. We trust you. This is perfect. And the deals worked out fine. Now you're also going to see that buyers and listing agents or, or listing people, clients, sellers, geez, get it out. Sellers and buyers are now going to offer, ask for a lot more references and resumes. I've been doing that for years. I have the resumes. I had the references. I had one up in uh, Belfair out that way that wanted a list of 1.35, did $1 million con or one month contract for him, listed 1.35, ended up selling for like 1.5 in three days. I gave them references. They called all five of my references and now they're a reference because of the meticulous attention to detail on listing these homes but that's what we get paid for. That's why it's so particular. And then the buyer's agents, if you're running around with a buyer, but you are not from the area or you're from the area, but you know, know the comps, you don't know what's going on with the area. I had one over here where there's a development that I knew about a year and a half ago. And so they wanted to buy the home. I said, there's gonna be a road being expanded. So you're gonna lose some of your land. There's gonna be a sidewalk running down here because I know because I sold the development piece of land a few years before that, sure enough, they're now working on that road, widening it, putting on a sidewalk. If anybody knows, it's over that direction towards the Elm Highway. You don't want to buy that. But that's why using a buyer's agent that's local will save you that. Because if you would have bought that piece of land that was listed a year ago with the house, and the agent disclosed that or didn't know about it, maybe they just didn't know the buyer's agent, or the listing agent didn't know or didn't disclose it, then they bought something that they've lost some land from. Now, I think the city sure compensated, but who knows, right? With how much you lose, and then now you have a bigger road going down by you. Sidewalk's nice though. But I digress, that's why you use a buyer's agent. So with all this information and everything else, yes, our work is a weight of gold with commission. But the whole point of this is now we communicate it. Now we can talk about it. People were just saying, here it is, sign the paperwork, this is the commission. That's not the way, we should have an open discussion. You can negotiate all you want. 